Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome to another episode of Music Go Round. And today we're carrying on with the Who, and it's the Who by Numbers. Why not? It's a seventh studio album. My goodness. Original release back on, well, it depends where you are, 3rd of October 1975 in the UK, or because there'll be people in the comments, 25th of October 1975, 1975 in the US, recorded between April and 12th of June 1975, 37 minutes, 19 seconds long, with a cover by John Entwistle, um, cost 32 quid apparently, in an interview, he said the previous cover cost 16 grand, this one was a cheap one, I drew it, 32 quid. <laughs> so, that's that is amusing um so yeah this is a bit of a different album a different album from the previous one it's not a couple is it a concept album no but there are thematic um concepts that run through the record um again this is a much more reflective one this is uh, this is townsend getting old thinking about being old and you know where did, where did the time go? Where did the time go? It opens with the track Slip Kid, um, which again, I think, was originally meant to be part of the Lifehouse project. It was, I think there were demos of it over over there, uh, but it's here. And it's about responsibility. Again, these are, there are a lot of adult themes on here. Uh, adult. Being an adult. Not adult. Uh, Squeezebox is a bit adult. But you know what I mean, it's about growing up and Slip Kid is like that, you can't escape your responsibilities, even though you might think you are, and, you know, from, was it 13 to 60 odd, you, you've got responsibilities, we have respon we all have responsibilities and it's about, you can never escape them, you're not really ever truly free are you, in the same way as there's no, there's no such thing as free will, not true free will, oh, here we go again, uh, <laughs> However much I booze, it's in the title. It's all about drinking and not being in control of your drinking. And again, the idea of self-control uh, marries up with the track "Dreaming from the Waste," which is you know one's about alcohol and and the other part is about sexuality and controlling your your sexual urges. So you know two sides of the same coin, and that's what I mean. It's a, an album of of. Um, Responsible, tra responsible song, Squeeze Box, probably my favourite track on the album. Uh, laced with euphemism, don't we love a, don't we love a euphemism and innuendo? If you're gonna have an innuendo, have a big one. Um, so I, I like it's one of my favourite tracks on the record. I just love it so much. It just fills me with joy. Um, it's probably one of my favourite Who songs actually. Um, so yeah, I mean, imagine a man again. A lot of this, imagine a man. Um, how many friends? I'm, I'm going to skip through this again. Very, very, again, very maudlin. It's again, it's, it's these songs are full of reflection, and uh, I wouldn't say they're happy songs. Like I say the most joyful one of it is, is Squeebox, but it's you know, it's Townsend. He's in a rut, you know, and he ain't. He's, he's not escaping from it. And like I say, this what it's kind of what makes this a bit of a hard. Not is it a hard listen? Yeah, a bit of a hard. I'm gonna yeah. God damn it, big stick to your courage of your convictions. I find it a bit of a hard listen because thematically, there's there's very these songs are very similar, and it's like uh, here we go, here we go. Um, but again, another one that's a standout track for me next to Squeeze Squeezebox is the the track Blue, Red, and Grey. Which is a, del a delicate little number, delicate little number, just taking joy at being alive again. So, you've got these songs that are, you know, <laughs> he's complaining about it, but then there's this this other song which talks about the, the simple joys, you know, seeing the sunrise and uh, and that. Um, and I really like that song again. I think it, I don't know if it's banjo that's is the main instrument. Um, I like I like the simplicity of it, and and Townsend sometimes is very is very very good when it's it's all stripped back and it's just him and his instrument, and that's another standout track uh, on the record for me. So yeah, it's um yeah it's an interesting it's an interesting one. 
I, again, I don't find it as successful or as classic as some of, of the others. Um, it's funny, it's funny because it's got printed a number like it's a limited edition. I don't think this is a limited edition in any way, shape or form. Um, some of these reissues are a bit odd. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh God, again, it's a Who album, so it's not it's a bad album. But I think, again, because Townsend is stuck in this this really, like I say, reflective, self-reflective mood, you know, very introspective if it's it is a hard i find it a bit hard because it's thematically very very familiar very similar the songs um and they're not as as hooky not as hooky so for me this is a lesser work but it does contain two of the songs that i really love squeeze box and blue red and gray so there you go now if i'm going to be honest I mean, I would give this uh, two squeeze boxes out of five because of the reasons I've just said. Because of because of this, these these it's laid on thick, laid on thick. I mean, it also it verges into self pity. You know, I mean, you don't you don't want a self pitying rock star. Nobody does. Um, um, but you know, I think again, it, it deserves an extra mark just for the the iconic sleeve. I mean. Ain't whistle really knocked it out of the park with it. I really like that. <laughs> it's uh, and I did. I don't know if you ever if you ever went second hand record collecting. I did see a few copies where people had filled it in, and that oh, that's almost like sacrilege, isn't it? You shouldn't. Do, you shouldn't fill in the dots. It's join the dots if you don't. If you don't get it, I bet kids today don't do join the dots, do they? That was that was that was common. That was a common thing for us to do back in the day. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one. It's one of the lesser albums, uh, and we're going to get, uh, we're going to have a run of those as we we carry on. Um, but that's not to say it's not it's not a bad album. It's just when you compare them to their other records, you know. And if you like it, good for you. I've got to say this because people get all uppity. Good for you. I'm glad you like it, and I'm sorry that my review didn't match your expectations. But I'm sure you'll tell me all about it in the comments below. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been it's been lovely. I've got to do it. I have been talking. Indeed, I've been talking about ow ow. <laughs> I've been talking about the Who's by numbers. Hey, there you go. There you go. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, shall I do the rigmarole? We haven't done the rigmarole for a long time. Don't forget, you can like or dislike this video. You could subscribe, but what's the point? Because the subscribers don't watch all the videos, do they? So there's no point in subscribing. It's up to you. Um, you can support this site because we have Patreon. There's a there's a membership thing you can join and throw throw a few coins. I thought, though they, all these companies, whether it's Patreon or YouTube, they always take their cut first. Jump you know saying, pay me direct. Just throw some money at me. There's there's links. There's links in the comments where you can just you can just you can just do that to me. You know, we'll, we'll strip for money. I mean, it's it's come to that. Though I think YouTube might have something to say about that. Um, and also, there's uh, there's the social media. We don't do all that. Don't, don't don't bother with that. And, and the music. Don't don't bother with that either. But it's good. You can have a laugh at it. You can have a good old laugh. It's music.downlot.com. Check it out. You might be crazy enough to buy some. <laughs> But you can listen to it for free or whatnot. Anyway, it's been lovely spending this time with you. And we're doing uh, that one next. Who are you? Not to be taken away. That was kind of, yeah. That's a portent of things to come, isn't it, really? And uh, and then that's, that's the end of The Who, as we knew it. But we'll do that next time. Uh, thank you for watching. It's been, it's, been, it's been lovely. You've been a lovely audience. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this again soon. Ta-da!